Climate Now, in collaboration with Copernicus. Hello and welcome to Climate Now, our unique monthly update on what's really happening to our planet. Coming up in the programme, how can you protect world heritage sites from climate change? We report from the historic city of Lübeck in Germany. Naturally, it is important that the city is protected and at the same time that world heritage is treated responsibly. First, the latest data from the Copernicus Climate Change Service. Looking at the globe as a whole, we had the fourth warmest June on record with temperatures 0.2 degrees Celsius above the 1991 to 2020 average. The month was remarkable because of a series of heat waves. Siberia saw sustained above average temperatures. The city of Yakutsk hit a new June record of 35.1 degrees. Finland had its warmest June on record. Helsinki hit a new record for the month of 31.7 degrees. Then North America had its warmest June on record. Lytton in Canada was destroyed by wildfires after it hit a new all-time Canadian high of 49.6 degrees. Now, let's have a look in a little more detail at what's been happening here in Europe. And we can see on this map here, this large area in red, across Finland and the Baltic states, where it was much warmer than average last month. Then it was cooler than average across the Black Sea and the Iberian Peninsula. Switching over to precipitation anomaly, we can see there was a lot more rainfall than average across the Black Sea again, and here in Western Europe. Now to our report, looking at how UNESCO World Heritage Sites are facing up to the historic threat from climate change. We went to the city of Lübeck in Germany, a place that's embraced by the river Trava and unprotected from the nearby Baltic Sea. Its position meant it became an important medieval trading centre, but it now leaves it vulnerable to rising water levels. Founded in 1143, Lübeck is famous for its Gothic churches and merchant mansions. City authorities would like it to be enjoyed for centuries to come, and that means facing up to climate change. World Heritage Coordinator Katharina Vogel says they're now in the process of evaluating the risks. We are not only talking about flooding due to the rise in sea level, we are also talking about heavy rain. We are also talking about extreme drought. That is what is being dealt with and what is also just starting to be looked at, or what has already started to be worked on, of course. Flooding is not a new problem here, but it's a growing one. Professor Arne Arns advises the city on future risks based on climate scenarios and historical records. We see here the high water mark of the storm surge of 1872. And this event was the highest storm surge that we have seen here in the last thousand years. And if we now imagine that sea level will rise by about a metre, maybe even a metre fifty in the next hundred years, that means that we're going to end up with the highest possible event that we can expect somewhere up here. Preparing for such climate change effects raises many questions. Flood defences could ruin the city's historic charm and put its UNESCO status at risk, but action will need to be taken. When we look at this area, we see that we are relatively cramped space-wise and because of this tight space availability, we are just quite inflexible when it comes to developing or installing protection mechanisms. That means that the only thing we can really do here is either to prevent the high water from entering the Trave or we have to think about a protective element here on the spot, such as a flood protection wall. As the city considers its options, the locals are already getting prepared. Jan Domeyer is restoring his 600-year your old house and installing drainage pumps and flood barriers. Are you concerned about sea level rise and yeah. flooding? Yeah, yes, of course, because after all, the water rises two, three millimetres every year. It's not much, but in 10 years, it's that much. And in 20 years, it's that much. And our kids are three and five. So what happens in 50 years? We're already worried about that. You can dig into the detail on the climate change challenge to historic sites on our website, euronews.com slash climate now. And I'll see you next time. Climate Now, in collaboration with Copernicus.